There's been a couple of noteworthy events, as well as quite a bit of activity, enough so that I thought a update was warranted. Let's go ahead and get to what's new. This is the graph over time. As you can see, the plateau at the start of the year is continuing. There's a little bit of an uptick, but not much. Very similar to what we saw at the beginning of last year, where it kind of flattened out. <clears throat> and then we would expect somewhere around March to things start picking up a little bit more. Again, the map, which I'm going to be calling on here in a little bit, because we have our first stations that are not on top of one of these blue pips. In fact, there's two stations that are not on top of these blue pips. Up to this time, every single station that has either been spotted under construction or have opened has been on top of one of these blue pips. But we're now starting to see a divergent from that. And I checked on the Pilot Flying J website. There is no new updated map yet. Maybe there will be, I'm not quite sure. But we could talk about uh, what we're looking at here in just a second. The states that are completed is unchanged from last update, and I'll get into the ones that are divergent here on the next slide. As we could see, Texas is getting close to being finished. I think it's only three stations left, one, two, and then a third one down here for the entire state of Texas to either be under construction or opened. And um, a new station that was not underneath a or on top of a blue pip in the state of Oklahoma has been spotted as well as one in Colorado. Okay, now new this update. There's three new ones that are open. Buffalo, Texas, which is down here. Smith Creek, Michigan, up here in the nape of the mitten. And Skippers, Virginia. This actually looks like it's in North Carolina, but when you pull in the Pilot Flying J um, locations map, there is no Pilot Flying J south of the border on Interstate 95 in North Carolina. So the, this is the skipper's location and it, it is the one that opens. So there's an additional one that is unknown because there's a couple of them at the same exit. So there's an additional one in Virginia that is uh, still yet to be completed. Additionally, Emporia, Kansas, uh, it was suspected to be under construction, but we now have confirmation that's the case. Tonkawa, Oklahoma, as I said, this is one of the ones that is divergent from the map of coming soon by the end of 2024. There is no blue pip underneath this uh, location, but it is spotted under construction. Dallas, Texas is now spotted under construction. Um, Buffalo, Texas is open, as I mentioned. Monument, Colorado. This one was uh, spotted in permitting and has now been confirmed to be under construction. It is a canopy location. And Aurora, Oregon just a little bit south of Portland. This is what it looks like in table form. I am gonna go over each one of these in pictures in an individual slide as well, just to kind of show uh, the activity that is going on to prove that this is not a stalled out project. There is a significant amount of activity. There's five new ones that have been spotted under construction that were not known to be un under construction before. And there's three new ones that have officially opened. This is Skippers, Virginia. It is a Nevi site, and I think that's noteworthy in the political climate that we find ourselves that a Nevi site has actually opened. And it's one of the, I think this is the only Pilot Flying J Nevi site in the state of Virginia and is now officially opened. I did visit there a long time ago and it had kind of stalled out in construction, assumingly waiting for the funding to come through, uh, but it is now open. Smith Creek, Michigan, as I mentioned in the nape of the mitten, uh, I don't have a picture yet of it actually being open. It just opened a few days ago, but I'm guessing eventually as the people in PlugShare cycle through and start taking pictures, we'll get an updated picture, but just very nice looking location with the uh, canopy. Emporia, Kansas. This also is a Nevi location. It was one of two Pilot Flying Jays in the state of Kansas that received Nevi awards, and it is now nearing completion. So good to hear that Nevi funds are still being dispersed, at least in the state of Kansas. This is Tonkawa, Oklahoma, kind of in a uh, very rural area of Oklahoma. And you can see Interstate uh, 35. That's actually an interstate that is creeping up in the counts. And we'll see that here in just a second as we get to the totals. Dallas, Texas, spotted under construction by 
EV Texan or Texan EV, I forgot, but he's a YouTuber. I'll put his uh, channel down below in the description. Feel free to go over and check out his channel. He does go to some of these sites. You'll be able to uh, see him. His most recent one, he's charging at an EVgo site. Um, but we got a nice square canopy pull through at a Flying J with a Denny's. Buffalo, Texas. Again, this is open, but I don't have a picture showing anyone using it. It just opened today, as far as I could tell. It's not in the Alternative Fuels Data Center database, but when I was going through and doing my price update, the way I do that is I go through the apps and, you know, I zoom in and I'm, I saw a new one. I'm like, oh, Buffalo is open. Uh, so I found it that way. It's brand new. Eventually, we'll, again, we'll get the um, plug share photos updated in the slide deck. Monument, Colorado. As I mentioned, this was pictured in uh, or captured in permits, and we now have a picture of the canopy being up at a very nice, nice location with an Arby's and a newly refurbished with the New Horizons uh, construction project uh, facility. So this site is all ready to go, a little bit uh, north of Colorado Springs. Lastly, Aurora, Oregon, just south of Portland, is now spotted under construction, and it is a canopy site as well. Pricing, as I said, I went through and I updated all the pricing. EVGO's app has now been fixed, and I was able to go through and do all 135, is it? Yeah, 135 uh, locations and get accurate pricing. We are now at an average of 56.4 cents per kilowatt hour. There were several adjustments, so uh, that's noteworthy. The static is no longer, the pricing is no longer static. There is some dynamicity to the pricing and it continues to fall. The top five highest price all at 69. The top five lowest prices are all at 45 cents listed there. As I mentioned, 135 are open, 30 spotted under construction. Texas is still on top with 24. But if you look at Oklahoma, they've gained because of the new site. And uh, where is it? Interstate 35 clicked up one as well. So we're now at nine sites on Interstate 35. And this, I didn't know that was such a major thoroughfare, but in the middle of the country, apparently 35 is pretty heavily traveled. The central time zone has 57 open, 12 spotted under construction. The eastern time zone has 63 open, seven spotted under construction. If you want to see what these are with their corresponding prices, it's in the data tables at the end of this video in the slide deck, which you could fast forward to using the chapters. Mountain time zone has 10 open, seven spotted under construction. The Pacific time zone has four open, five spotted under construction. I would like to talk about the NEVI table because uh, there's been a lot of back and forth about the NEVI program and Pilot Flying J does have their uh, foot in the NEVI game to some extent. I would say probably, I don't know, maybe 10% if they complete all these will be 10% uh, of the overall total of Pilot Flying J sites would be funded in some extent by Nevi if all these go through. And I'm assuming they will because they got all these awards announced. So I'm assuming all these are a go according to what I'm hearing uh, through the grapevine of what's getting funded through Nevi. But Emporia, Kansas, as I said, is newly spotted under construction. It was suspected to be, but now it's confirmed. Monument, Colorado is now confirmed to be under construction. We've got the picture of the canopy. Let's see what else. Skippers, Virginia is now open. All these pricing has been updated. I'm going to go ahead and roll the slide deck that has all the canopy locations, both open and spotted under construction, as well as the full data tables. Thanks for watching.